Howdy everyone, uh, welcome back, it's been a while, and uh, not reverse engineering today, uh, this video is long overdue uh, for a lot of confused individuals, and it's going to just clear some of that up. Um, so this is pertaining to, obviously if you read the description, um, Aussie Link Pro Tool, uh, version 2.4.4.2. Um, a long time ago, uh, we developed some patches uh, for this software after um, it was no longer able to be a, um, registered since uh, the servers, well, they don't exist anymore. Um, so we got approval to make these patches. Um, now, I've gotten probably f 5 to 20 emails a day for the last years number of years um insert what is it seven eight years um people have looked me up on reddit looked me up all over the place um no shortage of begging for hey it's not working can you can you help me out um so to clear that up this video is long overdue um i'm gonna walk you through installing uh, aussie link pro tool and applying the patches uh the appropriate patches and uh, yeah, we'll go from there. So, first of all, this is a VM. Um, I did that because I already have Ozio on my computer, been using it for a while, and uh, obviously wouldn't do me much good to show you on there. So, in the VM, it doesn't have it at all. Um, if you already have it installed, if it is version 2.4.4.2, which was the very last one released, um, then that's fine. If it's running, go ahead and right click it and hit exit. So let's get this installed and we'll uh, go from there. If you want 16 <laughs> devices, go for it. I do not need 16, four is plenty. Now if you hit next, I agree, I agree, next, it's going to put it in the default location. That's here, C, Program Files, um, x86, Aussie Link Pro. Now if you're on a 64-bit system, this is the 64-bit installer as well. It covers both of them and this is where it goes. It's kind of a special case where it's going to use kind of both sides of everything so that's where a lot of this confusion comes in most programs you either install the 32 or the 64 and you use whichever one your system is now since this is so special uh, you're gonna make sure that if you're on a 64-bit system you patch both DLLs because otherwise you're gonna have problems so it's done I'm not gonna run it because I just told you all to turn it off. If you try to patch it while it's running, you're going to have some issues. So um, now if you need to find Ozio Link Pro Tool right here on Give Academy, you go to Downloads, and then you go to Odious Ozio Link Pro 2.4.4.2 Installer Patcher. Here is the installer, the patch for x86, and the patch for uh, 64 bit or x64. Now, if you are on a 32 bit system, you aren't going to need this, and you can just do the x86 patcher. That's fine. If you're on a 64 bit system, you need both. Okay? And most systems these days are 64 bit, so I've put here both needed. So that's what I've done. Downloaded the installer. We just ran that. We got the two patchers the x86, the x64. And I've got program files, Aussie Link Pro. Okay. So you'll notice in here that you have the program, a DLL, and an uninstall, and a folder, x86. Okay. And here there's a DLL, some other DLLs, and the program. All right. So we're going to start in just Aussie Link Pro. We're going to grab the x86 patcher, and we'll drop that in continue. Now you notice that since it's in program files to make any modifications to these files or to add a file you do have to have administrator access. If you don't have administrator access you're going to need to get that um, or ask for it. Most of you that are watching this are going to be able to do just like I did and click yes because your account's already an administrator account. If it's not technically I can't help you with that. Um, technically so this little shield here um, it's automatically going to 
run as uh, or let the computer know that it needs to run as administrator um, that's because it has this word patcher um, which deems it as an install file um, if it doesn't have that or it doesn't prompt you to run as administrator then right click it and run as administrator that's all you got to do some people are saying they're getting compatibility errors blah 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 and if you see this where it says this came from another computer you might get a smart screen error um, you can just hit OK it's fine I trust it or you can click on block now in compatibility if you're getting those all it's going to be is run this program as administrator uh, which you don't need to do okay so just ignore that you can unblock the file it's not going to let you because uh, you're technically not an administrator you hit try again it's going to say okay you need to be an administrator now it's done okay uh, that usually won't cause any issues but when you double click this it's going to say you got to run an administrator do you want to allow it yep okay it's going to say it's patching aussielink.dll and this is just basically some debug stuff um, if you're really interested these are the offsets that are being patched and this is the size of the patch that's happening at those offsets um, for most of you that are watching this video that just want to use the software, that's going to be completely meaningless. But that is what you should see. should say success. Press enter to exit. If you see something like this, where it says bytes no match for patch, stuff like that, that means either you're in the wrong version, you're using the wrong patcher, or it's already patched. In my case, it's already patched because we just did it. It does make a backup right here of the original DLL. If you have problems, you can delete this one and take this .bak off and it goes right back to normal, standard. You can try again. Okay, so we don't need that patch anymore. You can delete it. I'm not even going to keep the back because I don't care. Now I'm going to go into the 64-bit folder and in there Here's our x64. Now if we were to try to run this, it's going to be in trial mode. You're going to get interrupted. So that's why you need to make sure and patch them both. Okay. Continue. Okay. Same thing. We're going to run it. We're going to hit yes. Patching as you linked at DLL. You notice there's much less patches here. That's because we just patched the functionality back in so it would not interrupt your audio or anything like that it skips over that we didn't go as far as we did in the 32 bit where we made it look and feel as if it was 100 percent it basically i'll show you so now that we're done um, i would say you know go ahead and restart your computer but it's not 100 percent necessary we're going to run it. Now you notice there's Aussie Link Pro Tool and Aussie Link Pro Tool 32. Now this is 32-bit. If you're on a 32-bit system, that's the only one you're going to need to worry about. If you're on a 64, uh, this is pretty much the only one you're going to need to worry about unless you're specifically using software that is uh, you know, 32-bit only compatible. Um, that's what that's for. Now I'll show you the 32-bit right quick. Because when we start it, You'll see here it says unregister Aussie link. Now that instead of you know enter key or whatnot. And that's the difference between the 32 and the 64. So we went that extra mile here. But if we go to about, that's how you know it works. It says patched by GA Collective. Okay, that that's your key. Alright. So we're gonna close this out. And just closing it like that does not turn it off. You notice it's still running down here. Okay. You can either stop and exit or you can simply right click here and exit that will close it so if it was already installed and it's running close it before you apply the patches if you apply the patches while it's running again that's not going to work so next thing this is the 64 bit that's the one i'm going to use most of the time 100 percent of the time because well that's my life uh, anyways so we're going to hit start Ozio, right? Everything's up. You'll notice here it says enter product key. It doesn't matter. It does say thank you for registering. Okay, You don't have to do anything there. Again, the proof is in the about. Patched by GA Collective. All right, that's how you know it's working. That's how you know you're not going to have any problems. All right. So now if you're coming here for tips on how to use the program or how to set you up your channels or how to 
mix with different stuff, I'm not your guy, okay? Um, I was contacted for creating the patch. That's what I've done. Um, all I really know is these are your channels, one, two, three, and four. Um, and then down here, you've got network in and network out. I have played around with that. It's pretty cool. I send audio in like almost zero latency to another device altogether. Um, you have your speakers. Here's where your microphones are usually at. Your uh, in and out mixes. Um, and then, or your driver out, and then your, your uh, whatever. Yeah, see, I'm not your guy. <laughs> So uh, I know just enough about it uh, to mess around with this for 10, 20 minutes, finally get things where they need to be to accomplish whatever I'm trying to do. Uh, but it, I'm in no um, uh, position to <laughs> give tips on how to use it. Okay, that's, that's on you. Like right now, there's no driver. If I, did, I can't even pick driver because there's none installed. The driver that I use on this is, uh, I might have it downloaded already is going to be um, Osio for all okay and that's just from osioforall.org I will let you know that their website does have tons of ads um, and they do pop up and they're quite annoying um, I didn't notice them until I went to do this video and downloaded that because I don't have a pop-up blocker on here um, so just fair warning but it's free they've kept it up to date it does work in Windows 10. This is the latest update. And just to prove it, I could show the stupid news and interest crap, uh, but I don't like it, so goodbye. Oops, oh, I'm sure I didn't want that either. Turn off, there we go, okay. So finish, all right, so now I have a driver. And if we open the right one, you notice there's still no driver, right? Most of you are way ahead of me. We stop, we start, now I have a driver. Okay, now it sees the virtual uh, microphones and it's routing my out uh, to it, I think. But anyways, um, that is the process of how to appropriately install it and get everything running um, with the patches. Again, if you're on a 32-bit system, that is the only time you will only need one patcher. If you're on a 64-bit system, or you have software that is 64-bit, or you got to retire, or you require a 64-bit, then you definitely need both of them. If you only do one, you're going to have problems. Um, so do both if you're on 64-bit. Uh, I am working on a new patch that's going to integrate all of these into one file. It will attempt to locate the program um, probably via registry, install keys. Um, and just patch it for you so you don't even have to go into the folders and whatnot um, but that is uh, in the works and <laughs> if this video is any evidence it might be a little while so do feel free to reach out if you're having trouble um, but first you know watch this video do exactly like i did you're not going to have any problems um, as long as you see that patch by ga collective uh, then you are good to go you're not going to get any trial interrupts or anything like that um, but other than that thanks for watching hope this clears up uh, how to get this working for most of you and uh, if you do need tips on using the program or or interfacing with it um, I have seen some videos on YouTube but that is one area that is uh, not too greatly covered I might go into attempting to learn it well enough to explain it in the future, but at this point in time, I'm not that guy. <laughs> um, anyways, hope you guys uh, get everything working, and uh, long live John's software. Thanks. Bye.